in today, this weekend, with the expectation that you're going to get something out of this and that you're going to really, that you're going to improve. If you go in with that feeling, then I know that all of you will get something and you all are going to improve in different ways. We're going to go through a lot of techniques to, uh, this weekend. Don't worry if you can't get them all. I've been doing judo for 20 years. I've learned hundreds of techniques and I can only do actually in a tournament maybe a, a handful. I can count them on my hands. So don't worry if you can't do all the techniques. Try them all and work on them and see if, they're, if they fit for you. All right, so we're, we're going to start this morning. Uh, we're going to start with Neohaza this morning. And in the afternoon, we'll go into Tachiwaza. So let's start by warming up. Um, get into rolls this way. Okay, right. Left. Right. Left. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Get a circle. Opposite direction. All right, right. Left. Right. Left. OK, do knees. Okay, let's see if you guys can do the split straight out. Get apart. Your arms come all the way out. And then you pull in to a 90 degree. Here. And your head comes up. Now the reason you do this is you want to get the strength to lock in on your holds this way. All right, this is really basic, but a lot of people cannot do this. So I want you to work on that pull all the way. You get to the end of the red line, stand up, and stay on this side, all right? Don't use your legs. Remember, I'll do it again. From here, pull, arch up. OK, arch this way, as high as you can go. Just like you're doing a kamishiho gatame, right here, all right? Stay on your toes. Ready? Yeah? Why you do that? Develop. Wait, 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 wait. What? Tell him to put those out. Okay, turn your belt on the side. Remember, this here is to develop your, your pulling, your holding in the in your different pins. <coughs> Spread your legs. Spread your legs. You have to arch your back. Arch. Arch. Spread your legs. Stay on your toes. Yeah. 
Come on, keep your feet on the mat. All the way to the end of the red line. <coughs> Spread your legs. Spread your legs as wide well as they go. <coughs> Spread your legs wide and keep them on the mat. Use your toes, keep your toes on the mat. <clears throat> okay, good. Now watch, the majority of you are doing it wrong. I said spread your legs, you guys had your, your legs close together. Yeah, I saw you guys do the split, so I know you guys can spread your legs. I said, use your toes. You guys had your feet down here. And I said, arch. And you guys are playing, you guys are playing like a worm, like this. Now, if I held somebody down, <coughs> if I held somebody down like the way a lot of you were doing the pulls, my feet together, on my, not on my toes, with my head, no, I'm not arching. Who's just going to turn me over? Right? I'm not pulling hard enough. He's, again, he's just going to turn me over there. Now, this exercise, which is very important for good men, as I, again, you spread your legs. I'm on my toes. Arch, I'm arching, and I'm pulling in this way. Now he can't move. See? Notice the difference? Let's try it again. <coughs> Think. Ready, go. When you're doing this, imagine you're holding somebody down. <coughs> imagine you're pinning somebody. You gotta spread your legs. You gotta stay on your toes. Arch. No, no, no. Arch up. Come up this way. There you go. <clears throat> imagine it. Imagine you're pressing somebody. Keep your elbows in. Arch. <clears throat> That was a lot better this time. If you keep this up, you're going to notice that your nilhaza is going to get stronger. Okay, one thing is you work on that pull. How many of you found it a little more difficult than the other way of doing it? Just crawling across with your hands and legs. It was a little harder, right? Your hands, your arms actually had to pull your body across instead of using your legs like this. This is easy, huh? You're using only your arms, so it's, it's a lot harder. You develop your muscles, and you get the habit of arching. So when you do your pins, you'll be comfortable with that. All right, next, we're going to go, it's called the ebi, which is a shrimp. From here. 
This way, when the... Uh, When the guy's coming on you this way, what you have to do is you have to block him out this way, here. Okay? Good, thank you. Now the key here is you want to keep your hips off the mat. They shouldn't be dragging like this, dragging. You want to keep your hips off the mat so you can move either way. And from here, you come into a Looks like a shrimp, right? And then you switch this way. Using your hands to push out. A lot of you in tournaments, when you're on your back, you don't know what to do and you end up getting pinned. I actually love this position. I can do a lot of offense from this position. So I'm really comfortable with this. So it's important that you're able to do this exercise from here. Use your hands to push out. Keep your hips off the mat. Okay? All right. Down. Let's go across. Your hips should not touch the mat. This, the hands are important because you're going to use it to push your opponent. Keep your opponent away here. Push this way. When he's coming in, if he comes in the other way, you push this way. Okay? Again, the hips off the mat this way, you're able to move a lot faster than if it's flat. If it's off the mat, you can move a lot faster. Here. Okay? Once more. Ready? Go. Sit down. Why don't you guys come? This way here. This way. We'll go on this mat here. <coughs> this morning we're going to start from the basic techniques, and then we're going to work our way up to very difficult techniques. And I don't want the older guys, the older kids to get frustrated that this is too easy, that maybe you learned it already, that you want to try something else, something a little more uh, complex. The most important thing in judo is, is your basics. In fact, at San Jose State, let me tell you about San Jose State. They've been around, I'm from San Jose State, the judo team. They've been around since after the war, after World War II. <laughs> uh, they've won 24 of the last 27 collegiate championships. In fact, last year they took seven out of the eight weight divisions. They took first place. They have um, six Olympians. They have six medals from the World Championships and three medals from the Olympics, just as San Jose State. That's a lot better than most, the majority of the clubs in the world. But the thing they stress the most is the basics. It's not all these complex, fancy techniques, but they do the basics. In fact, every year, the beginning of the school year, Everybody, the black belts, the, the senior black belts, the freshman black belts, they all do the start off with the basic newaza. It's so easy to forget. So that's what we're going to start off with. So I want all of you to be able to have a strong foundation in your techniques, and especially in the newaza. Okay. Okay, first, <coughs> start off with, oh, yeah, right here. You guys can come in closer if you want. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, first we're going to start off with Kesagatame. Now it's very important that I lock this arm. My arm goes all the way around, grabs the sleeve here, and it's important that I lock. Just like when we're doing the pulls, you lock. It's right here. So I'm, same thing, I'm going to lock this way. Okay? Now I'm going to, not going to keep my head all the way down, because when I keep my head all the way down, it takes the pressure off his body here. I want to use my body here to press him. Okay? So I'm using my body to press him. And again, this leg is bent here. It's not straight out. If it's straight out, he's going to pick me up and push me back this way. This leg here is bent all the way back as far as I can go. And again, I'm trying to do a split here, all right? Now, this arm does not lock here, because if I lock, he's going to roll me over this way. So it's right under his head. Here, I'm using all my weight on his chest. And as he moves, I move with him. This way. If he tries to throw me over that way, I stick my arm out. When it, come, when it comes back down, I come back down. OK? Let's do that really quickly. Hurry up and find a partner. We got to work quickly. Okay, be quiet. Okay, look where you guys are right now. Okay? When I say get back, you guys are back at your exact place you are right now, okay? As quickly as you can, you get back to the exact place you are. Look at who's next to you. Okay? You're going to be sitting next to them for the next three days. Remember where you were out there practicing? That's where you'll be practicing for the next three days. Okay? So when I say go, you guys go out. When I say come back, you guys hurry up and come back to your exact place. Okay. <clears throat> now, now with the thing comes the escape. Okay? So there are many escapes to just one pin. One that I want to teach you is, uh, that works well is my left hand, I'm going to grab his belt. In fact, with both hands, I'll grab his belt. Okay? Now I'm going to scoot up as close as I can under his hips. So I'm going to try and lift him up and get under his hips. This way, see? Look at my leg, it's under his hips. Yeah, okay. Now from here, I'm gonna bridge straight up. We did bridge, right? We guys bridge straight up. Straight up, and then to the side. Okay, notice.
One is grabbing the belt this way, in front of his head, here. Again, look, what are my legs doing? <laughs> Spread, right? Spread this way. And I'm locking it in here, just like we did on the pool. Locking it. Okay? Now this hand, we're not going to grab around this way. This is a very weak, weak hand. If I grab around the pants this way. So all he has to do, Push my head down, use this leg, kick it over. So if anybody does that to you, that's all you have to do. Take grab like this, push the head down, kick over. Ah, all right? So that's a weak pin. What we want to do here is, see the pads right here, right at the bottom, you grab it, you just push it down to the back. This way. <laughs> See? Now what happens when I push the mat? When I push it, hands down to the mat. You can't bridge. Okay. Right? You can't bridge. This hand is just trying to stick it right here. This one is pushing it down. So you can't push my head down and bring his leg up because I'm holding his hands down. The only way you can get me is if he takes his pants on. Okay? Look at it. Tight. I keep my hips to the mat all the way down. Look, I'm arching. I'm not going to hold on my feet. Arching because I want my chest to be on his chest. Push it down this way. That way. Grab the pants. Just the pants. Okay. Push it straight down to the mat. Okay. Be careful though. <laughs> Here, bring the slip up. 
slide the pin in the pool on my toes. Now remember, if I'm like this, it's going to roll me over. Okay? I don't have enough pressure on his chest like this, but he's still going to roll me over. <coughs>
Again, kick out. Turn over this way. The other side. Grab the opposite lapel. Kick out. Turn over. Now, my right hand. Grab from behind the head. With my fingers in. Okay? This way. Fingers in. Bring it on this side of the head so it's like this. Okay? This way. Kick out. Turn. Yeah. 